Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. So I thought today I would talk about Louis Vuitton and I've just noticed on the website they've launched a whole lot of new things so I just thought I'd share my thoughts if you're curious about my opinion. Um, yeah, so um, let me see. I noticed that you can actually pre-order this bag called the Petite Mal Soup and it has the multi pochette strap on it and it's almost got like a trunk style soft shape to it and it comes in you can get the pink colorway or the black colorway um, and the corners look that like they're made of leather and yeah pretty much the rest of the bag looks like canvas um, I feel like if I was going to choose one, I'd probably just go for the black one because um, this bag has like a little handle on it. So I feel like it'd be a little bit more fuss free in the black colour. Now this bag retails for 4200 Australian dollars, which is a lot for something that is mainly canvas. And even the strap is, well, it's... It's the multi pochette strap. It literally is. And, and I don't think this actually comes with the coin purse, which is weird because it has the little hook for the coin purse, but then they don't give you the coin purse. And that's, I think they should have at least chucked that in for $4,200. What do you reckon? Um, I guess it's kind of cool, but um, and I don't mind the look of that little luggage tag in the middle. I, I do like those little cute luggage tags that they're doing recently. 4200 though, um, I mean, if I was a cabillionaire, um, would I go for this? Mm, I don't know. I, I don't love it that much, but I can see it being pretty practical. Um, it would be a pretty casual everyday bag. I think it would fit quite a lot as well. Um, so yeah, pretty easy, fuss-free bag, but to me, um, it's not wowing me, to be honest. Um, so I realise I'm like looking down in most of this video because I'm looking at my phone to... Yeah, so next time I film a video I'll try and look up more. But anyway, I just wanted to upload it anyway, but yeah. <laughs> I can also see there's this new Fold Tote MM. I think this has been out for quite a number of weeks now and um, this to me isn't really not my style. It's quite like a grown up serious kind of look, maybe more of a work bag. So in terms of functionality, it looks pretty functional, um, but it's definitely just not something that I would personally get this fold tote PM, but that's just because it's not my style. Now there's this scarf on the website called the ultimate scarf and I feel like that looks like pretty nice actually. Um, I don't know if this is new but it's in the new section and it's $1,680 for a scarf. I absolutely love the beige colorway with just the neutral colors in it and the little pop of red and the giant monogram I think looks very nice. Like I actually prefer it to the the mini monogram they usually do on the scarves. I really like that oversized uh, the motifs like the little flowers and uh, looks really good and I think this is a cashmere wool blend so yeah if I was in the market for the ultimate scarf I would I would really I think this is a beautiful scarf I mean I really like that there's also a giant logo mania jungle scarf um, and yeah that one it looks more wool kind of um, in style and uh, I I mean, this one's one thousand dollars, so it's a little bit less. But between the two, the ultimate scarf looks a lot more like better to me. Better, <laughs> a lot more better. <laughs> There's a new bag, and it's this very long-looking Hermes Birkin-esque looking style, and it's called the All Set. Now, I feel like if I saw someone wearing this in real life. I would be like, they must be so rich because I feel like this bag is really not a hype bag at all. It's in that price point that is like, you know, it's $7,600. So it's in a price point that is just like not someone, ever, it's not something everyone would want to fork out for this kind of Louis Vuitton bag. It's definitely a price point someone would fork out for like a Chanel flat bag. Um, but a Louis Vuitton bag that kind of resembles kind of like a stylized 
um, Birkin bag, really. This all set bag. I mean, I can see it being great for the office. It actually looks really chic. I, I think it is really nice. It literally has the same aesthetic as a, a Birkin, but it has like a zip, so it's almost a bit more functional. I mean, if I was going to go for this kind of style, I think I would just get a Birkin, but I mean, if you're like rich already and you already have like a black Birkin and like a rose one and like a green one, maybe you'd like to get the Louis Vuitton one because it is, yeah, it's kind of like a modern take on a Birkin. It does look really nice. Um, I'm not familiar with um, Louis Vuitton leather, so let's just see what this is made of. Um, calf skin. Calf skin leather trim, cow hide leather lining. Okay. Yep. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's pretty nice, this one. I mean, it is 7,600, so you'd expect it to be. Um, yeah, I think that would just be a bag you would buy if you were, like, rich. <laughs> it's it's just a big price point. Like, I'd definitely rather spend $7,000 on something else than, than that, personally. Um, next, there's the, the new Vanity PM in... There's, like, a leather version, which looks very nice. I really like the, the black in the Vanity PM. I think this looks very chic. I actually prefer it to the one I, I initially got. I actually used to have the Vanity PM in the first release um, in the monogram, which generally is usually more popular when things come in monogram compared to leather. Um, I loved that bag, but I ended up selling it. It just, um, it, it didn't wow me. I don't know. I, I much prefer some of my other canvas Louis Vuitton bags than the Vanity PM. Um, personally, if I'm going to go for a vanity style, I have it in mind maybe one day to get a Chanel vanity bag. I actually, yeah, I, w I would probably prefer to get something like that. Um, and, it w and the vanity PM is quite a lot. I mean, especially in the leather, it's 4,200. Uh, when, for me, when Louis Vuitton gets into that price range of over 3,500, I find it hard to justify unless I super like it. Like, I feel like I would spend that much on something... Oh, like, what? What would I get? I don't know. Like, it just it needs to be something that I'm completely obsessed over. Otherwise, I just think it's more worth it to spend that much money on a Chanel bag or even save up for, like, an Hermes or something, really, because it's, it's a lot for this kind of bag. Um, and the Vanity PM I didn't find very easy to use either, so... I do love the look of this black leather one. I actually prefer it to the monogram, but um, yeah, I won't personally be getting it because I, that it, I mean, I don't love it that much. But I actually really like also the look of the new Speedy BB, um, also in the black leather. And this one is $4,000. Um, I really wish they made this in just plain monogram, actually, because it's kind of like the the um, Nano Speedy, but just slightly bigger, and it has the option of having the detachable strap. Um, I found when I had my Vanity PM, that chain that it came with was not very comfortable. I, I was really not a fan of that chain. It looks beautiful, uh, but the fact that this Speedy BB only comes with that chain as a shoulder strap, um, I would definitely use a different Louis Vuitton strap on this bag. Maybe just get a plain bandolier strap or a black strap because that chain is really not comfortable. So, I, yeah, that's just my opinion. I, um, so I probably wouldn't buy this Speedy BB, especially because it's $4,000. And I know it sounds silly, guys, saying, oh, this bag is too expensive. I mean, it's a designer bag, but, you know, Louis Vuitton, I feel like... If I'm going to buy a Louis Vuitton bag, I'm probably not going to spend $4,000. I don't know why. In my head, I just feel like it's better to get like a Chanel Mini or something in that price point, even pre-loved. Um, now, here's a bit of a better price. It's uh, this new bag called Officer. It's 2580 So it has like a thick kind of guitar strap and a little leather pouch kind of bag and this little coin purse stuck to it. Um, when I first saw this and the price, I was actually like, oh, that's actually nice. Should I get this? It looks very practical. 
Um, yeah, I think it looks practical, but also it's a little bit boring. I mean, the only thing it has going for it is probably the strap. And also I realized that this is a smooth calf skin, so it's definitely going to get scratched up, that's for sure. Uh, the price, 2580 I think is pretty reasonable for this bag because it has a lot of leather in it. And I feel like the strap on this is actually a lot better than the multi-pochette strap um, because it's it looks like it's got a lot of leather in it. So, I um, mean, I read the description for it and it ha it says that it fits two smartphones in it. So, all the necessities can fit in this. Um, so, yeah, I actually think this bag is pretty cool. The officer bag. I think the price is good. Looks pretty functional. I like the strap. Um, probably not going to get it just because it's, it's cool, but... Um, I kind of like how with the multi-pochette you can wear it as a shoulder bag as well, whereas this one doesn't really have that function, so I feel like for the multi-pochette vibe, I would still just go for the multi-pochette, um, and maybe not this officer bag. So, but it is a cool bag, like, I, I, I kind of like it. I think it's more worth it because it's got the, the leather in it. Um, now there's also the Louis Vuitton New Wave multi-pochette, um... Now, I'm not a huge fan of the New Wave line. Uh, I really like the heart-shaped bags that they came out with in the New Wave line. I think that's super cute. Um, in terms of the multi-pochette New Wave, I was actually tempted to get it because um, I sold my multi-pochette and I kind of wanted to get it back again. Um, but I just, um, I'm just not a fan of the New Wave, so I didn't want to kind of force myself to buy this just because I had that, you know... I needed to quench my multi pochette thirst, basically. Um, and yeah, I've heard a, one of my subscribers, um, one of you guys, had said that you actually um, found that the new wave leather was not actually the best. So yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that giant logo on the front. So that's just me. I mean, I think it's fine. I'm just uh, kind of reminds me of Gucci Marmont as well, which I'm not a huge fan of. Now there's this other bag called the Neo Saint Cloud. This looks really nice. So again, it has like a thicker guitar kind of looking strap, which is detachable. Um, yeah, this looks very sophisticated. I can see it has two-tone hardware as well. This one looks much nicer than that officer bag, but it is, you know, 3750 so it's more up there. Um, but out of the two, yeah, if you want to go for that style, I'd probably get the Neo Saint Cloud. That's really nice. And it's a bit bigger. Um, yeah, I don't mind that bag, actually. Three. Oh, Neo Saint Cloud. Mm, tempting. Okay. Uh, now I'm just into... Oh, this is really cute bag. The Deauville Mini. Now, this looks also like a pretty functional bag. It's 2780 It's kind of just like a camera case style. Um... My concern is with this one, it has machete leather on the back, and I feel like that would definitely get colour transfer on it, because I just know that machete is very easy to mark. Now this machete leather on the bag looks pre-tanned, so I find it would be a little bit more durable than, you know, just the normal white machete you sometimes get at the boutique. Um, but this Dopeville Mini is honestly really adorable. I really like it. Um, I've recently got the Petit Sac Plat, so I don't really feel like getting this as well, but yeah, and also it's just that basic kind of camera bag style, which is, I find a little bit boring, so, you know, this could have been a bit cuter if it had like little top handles on it or something, like the actual Deauville bag, that could have been really cool, if even it had like a little pocket in the front, no, I don't know, it just, it's okay, but yeah, it's not my favourite. Um, Odium PM. Now, when I first saw this bag, I just thought this is completely not my style. It's very, just looks like, kind of like a mum bag or something. Nothing wrong with that. It's just, like, something that I don't need right now because I'm, I'm not a mum. And, um, it just looks like a very functional, practical bag. Not really a, like, a cute bag, like a novelty piece. Um, although when I see it on the model just styled on the shoulder, I think that actually looks pretty cute. Just as a little shoulder bag. I'm not a fan of that crossbody look it looks just like a kind of like a hobo style messenger which 
it's a bit of a boho kind of look, I guess. Um, but yeah, I can see how if you style it right, it could look pretty good. But my initial thought on it was not really my style, but I appreciate it. Noe purse. Now this is this is really cute. I was actually tossing up between getting the uh, petit sac plat or the Noe purse, and I ended up going for the petit sac plat. Um, and the Noe purse is honestly so adorable. It has a lot of vachetta leather on it. Um, but I imagine that's also been pre-tanned again because they seem to be doing that a lot lately. And the straps, the little kind of pull tab things that you kind of use to open and close it look kind of flimsy to me. So I, I don't know how easy that would be to use. Maybe it'd be fine. But yeah, this is actually a really adorable bag. I would, I would probably, like, if someone gave this to me, I would be thrilled. Like, it's very cute. Anything, like, small like this, it's totally up my alley. So if you missed out on the Petit Sac Plat, um, maybe get the Noe Purse. I think it's also really, really cute. And, and it's definitely popular. I mean, it's already, it looks, seems like it's sold out online at the moment. Notify me. So I think it's still possible to get. Um, but you just have to inquire, I guess, maybe call client services. Uh, yeah, I think that's all, like, the, the main, oh, you know, there's another new Pete Petit Mall with a thick guitar strap, 7,950, but I think if you're in the market for a Petit Mall fresh from Boutique, this is really nice, this is, this is super nice. Yeah, that's a really nice Petit Mall. <laughs> It looks a little bit more practical because it has that thick strap on it. Yeah, I think if you're going to spend, like, in that price point for a Louis Vuitton bag, uh, yeah, I'd go for something more like a hard case style. I think that's kind of makes more sense to me than going for that, like, Birkin-esque bag. Just, I don't know. Anyway, uh, what do you guys think? Um, have you bought any, like, new Louis Vuitton bags lately or, like, ordered any? I actually have made two orders on Louis Vuitton in the last few months, um, and I'm still waiting for my first order. And the second order, um, I actually, um, ordered a multi-pochette world tour. So <laughs> that's going to be coming, um, I guess probably in a few weeks. So I did a video recently about, like, um customizing a multi pochette world tour and um yeah i ended up going through with it and ordering one and yeah i'm pretty excited um i found it hard to get just the plain colored multi pochette and um i'm gonna be honest i thought lv was gonna have a price increase so i kind of panic bought the mul <laughs> the world tour one but um i'm still pretty excited to to kind of get my own custom order as well i don't think it would it's something i would necessarily do again but um, I think it'll be really cute to see how it turns out. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, anyway, thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!